Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Grand Auto 5 Mods video. Today we're going to do something very exciting. We are on the island of Cayo Perico here in Grand Auto 5 and we're going to be doing our first firefighter mod video on the island. So we have a bunch of cool mods installed right now. Hope you guys enjoy it. The first one you are probably going to notice is this Ford F550 behind me. It is a brush truck and we're going to be using this to respond to calls. This thing is amazing. It has a nozzle on the front so we can shoot water. We got a winch on the bumper as well. Tons of tools on the inside of the uh, cab there or the uh, chassis. Plus we have hoses that we could pull from back here with all of the equipment that you see. So let's go ahead and get this episode started. I hope you guys do enjoy this one. This is going to be so much fun. And um, I will link everything that I'm using down below in the video description. Plus, I'll do a video on how to set everything up to work. It's pretty simple, but I'll, I'll do a video to help you guys out on that. So again, uh, look in the video description and there will be a link to my website, acepilot2k7.com. Alright, so we are 10 and available. Let's go ahead and get our day started. So we were inside of the mansion, we're gonna go out on patrol. Now there's no like firehouse or anything, I mean I, I looked around a little bit but it wasn't really anywhere that we could use as like a firehouse. So what I decided to do instead was to go to one of these towers, let's go to this one over here. And we'll kind of use it as like a watchtower slash station, we'll just kind of hang out there and we'll be able to see the whole island and respond to calls as necessary. Now we do have some more units and personnel up there as well to help us up, help us out. So if we do have any severe call and we need backup or we need an ambulance for transport, we have other units standing by. And let me see if I can just park up right over here. All right, so let's uh, let's go to the top of the tower and we'll wait for a call to come in, guys. I'll also show you guys the rest of the stuff the truck has. It has a lot of equipment. The roll downs could open up and there's a lot of stuff in there. We also have the uh, transport unit. So this is kind of like our mini ambulance here, which does have a stretcher inside, which is pretty cool too. Just to show you guys how that works. So, so awesome. We'll probably run some EMS calls. And then like I was saying over here, we have a lot of supplies over here as well, such as our saw, bunch of other stuff. I'll show it off a little bit more towards the end of the video or whenever we get a call. So let's head up here. Uh, again, this is going to be our like hangout area until we get a call. You could like, see most of the island from up here, which is pretty cool. Alright, we are up here. What up, guys? Yeah, the view is amazing. Very nice change of place, change of pace from our normal uh, city firefighting and county firefighting in San Andreas. So let's see what this island has in store for us, guys. All right, guys, we just got our first call. Looks like it's going to be a vehicle fire. We're going to respond to that. We need a firefighter pole here so we can slide down, but this is probably a little too high for that. All right, so for this call, we are going to take the brush truck. Why would you sit in the back seat? the vehicle up oh, yep that's a fire let's get our turnout on all right start the pump for me all right holy crap oh oh that's spreading really fast 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, this fire is out of control, guys. We do, we have limited water. I'm gonna have to call for another unit here. Wow, this is spreading so fast. I cannot believe this. Holy crap, guys. It's just going Jesus. everywhere right now. Alright, let me put out the main source of the fire, which is the car. Alright, let's chase around all these other spots. We're basically out of order here. Oh, man. That was crazy. I was not expecting this for our first call. Alright, it looks like a lot of it did burn out. I was just about to call for a second due unit to come out from the airport, but it looks like the fire is extinguished. Whoa, that was crazy, guys. Alright. I didn't even get a chance to uh, properly turn on my SCBA. Everything escalated so quickly. Wow. Alright, let's put this away. I didn't see a person in the car. Let me go over there and check to see if anybody's in there. Hopefully no one's in there. Did they get out? Okay, yeah, it looks like uh, nobody is in there. So I'm going to take off my gear. And I guess we'll request a uh, tow truck to come pick this thing up. Alright, just to make sure we don't have any more fire spreading, uh, let's use the truck a little bit just to wash down the area. Oh, that is really powerful. Okay, we don't we don't even need the tow truck company, guys. We just flipped it over ourselves. I think we could use our winch on it too. Yeah, I forgot about that. Let's see if we can winch it. Maybe we don't even need the tow truck company. Yeah, we can winch it ourselves. Where should we put it though? I'm still gonna probably call the tow trucks to come take it off, but let's um let's drag it somewhere. Oh, the inside of this be uh, vehicle is beautiful. So I actually purchased this vehicle just for this episode too. This one is by um, Ripple. And it is a very nice vehicle. Very simple purchase process as well. And this thing is awesome. It comes set up really for 5M. Um, but you can use it in single player. Especially if you use like say Lenny's Mod Loader. It makes it super easy to install for single player. And what I'll do, I'll do a video on my website showing you guys how to do that um, probably tomorrow. I don't, I'll either upload it later tonight or tomorrow after the day you guys are watching this. So uh, if you guys would like to learn how to do that, I will upload it. And um, I'll also link everything again in the video description. So let's get a tow truck out here and get this thing towed and then we'll get back into service. All right, we have a tow truck on the way. Looks like they are sending Ace Towin out to come pick this up. We now have Ace Towin on the island. How crazy is that, guys? All right, they got it. And we are going to be 10 8 and back in service. One thing we do have to do is refill our um, water supply. Then we'll be ready for the next call. This is a really amazing vehicle though, I have to say, this thing is nice. I'm really liking this. Definitely was worth it. Alright, so we're going to come over here and borrow some water from the... Uh the uh, crops here that K.O. Perico specializes in. <laughs> I guess that's our main job, really, not to let this stuff catch on fire because the whole island is about that stuff over there. But, uh, yeah. Citizens reporting a possible... 
Maple 480 in uh, North Yankton. Units respond code 3. All right, we got another call, a report of a motor vehicle collision, multiple people, and they are entrapped. All right, let's respond to that. Looks like we are on scene of a three vehicle accident. Let's get our gear, let's get these roll ups open. Alright, looks like we do have people inside of at least two of the vehicles. Alright, so we're gonna use the soft for this one. And uh, start cutting everybody out. Oh, this is looking really bad here. We're gonna have to request the ambulance for a uh, transport for these guys too. So once I get them out, I'll do that. Okay, uh, we need some uh, stabilizer sticks here. Get this one out. I don't think I'm hitting it. I think this isn't really going to be safe what I'm about to do, but I'm going to do it just because we kind of have no choice here. So I'm going to get back into the truck and I need to pull that top one off. I know this is like a little bit unrealistic, <laughs> not something you'd want to do because we probably just caused a lot more trouble for these guys, but we kind of had to in order to uh, get them out properly. Alright. Okay, the guy for that one got ejected it looks like. Oh, I didn't know we could cut. You know, I never cut the trunks in the hood before. I had no idea we could do that. That is so cool. away let's start treating everybody now we can treat them ourselves or we could just let EMS treat them we do have a uh, medic bag on here that we can use but I'm going to call for EMS I set up ultimate backup to have a UTV ambulance come let's see if they send it the correct thing nope they sent me a regular ambulance hi yeah yeah all right I gotta fix that later but it's okay so I'll, I'll make sure we'll fix that for the uh, next stream. I'm on it. Oh fuck! All right, we're gonna let EMS Give handle everything. We can uh, treat them too, but I'm just gonna let EMS treat them in this episode. I gotta figure out why this did not call the right ambulance. I did click oh, this, right? Shit. Yeah, he didn't make it at all. We also have a police <laughs> department as well, so let's call the police unit for a report. We copy you. On standby. Alright, so the police work properly, so we just gotta go back and fix the ambulance. I gotta take the tent off of that. Okay. 
So we have police is here. How's it going? Pretty good. We had a three car motor vehicle accident. EMS is uh, going to be transporting. I can't here believe this didn't work right though. Let me try it one more time. I just want to see something. Nope. Yeah, it's the same thing. All right. So I got to fix that. I was hoping it would spawn um, this one. But I guess I probably missed a line somewhere. So we'll, um, we'll fix that later. But. Yeah, because this would have been really cool put them in here and then transport them on, from here. Go. That would be awesome. So this stuff that we're using, we're using a lot of different mods here today. Yeah. Uh, these callouts are do. from fire calls, fire callouts. Now, some of the calls are going to work on the island. Some of the calls aren't because this is obviously not made for KO Perico. This came out before. So the, the calls like vehicle fires and accidents and like aircraft crashes, those are going to work because they spawn randomly. Um, so they'll spawn here too, but the other calls, those are all like set coordinates in the city, so those calls are not going to work yet. But, um, just so you guys do know, LSPDFR eventually will be updated to include a working version of all of this stuff. So, uh, once that is done, um, I guess everything will probably work properly. That should be pretty cool. Oh my god! Careful, careful, careful. <laughs> All right, so let's release all these units. Uh, let's get a couple of tow trucks out here to tow all this stuff away, and we'll be back in service. We are code four. These cars got destroyed here. Tow truck Alright, close up the truck by changing the extras. And we are ready to go. We are back in service. This one will just delete. And we are ready for the next call, guys. Alright guys, we're going to be responding to the airport. We just got word of an aircraft experiencing engine troubles and they're going to try to make it back to the airport before it crash and hopefully. So let's head to the airport just in case it does crash. We'll be there and we'll be able to help the pilot and put out the fire and rescue the uh, passengers on board. Alright, we made it to the airport, so we'll stand by for the emergency landing and let's see what happens. Attention all units, we've got an aircraft crash in Oh, they went down right behind us, guys. Alright, they actually are back this way. Alright, looks like it's gonna be a helicopter that went down. Holy crap, alright. Oh, I see the pilot. The pilot's over there. Try to treat this uh, pilot, see if he's okay. Let's do a quick injury assessment of him. You okay, sir? Can you hear me? Okay, uh, patient. 
is losing a lot of blood. Things to do, Torden Kit and IV line. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Let's try to stop the uh, blood first. Okay, an artery has been nicked. Oh boy. All right, so we're gonna put one more on. Looks like the bleeding has stopped. So we're gonna start bandaging everything up now. All right, perfect. Uh, let's do a quick vital check. His airway is clear. He is breathing normal. Pulse is weak. So we're gonna start in the IV pack. Okay, and we're gonna need the uh, the um, what should we call it now? The ambulance. All right, his pulse is strong, and he is ready to be transported. All right, the EMS unit is on scene. Let's grab a stretcher out of here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and load him up. All right, and let's put him into the back of the ambulance. Okay, he's loaded up. Uh, they're gonna transport him to our medical center at the airport and hopefully he'll be okay. If he is not okay, they will end up by uh, requesting a medevac and send him to San Andreas. Alright, let's put this back. I guess we'll call out Ace Tone and see if they could come pick up this helicopter that crashed. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy this episode. Let me know what you guys thought about it down below in the comment section. If you did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also hit the notification bell for new videos every single day, as well as live streams in the evening, normally around 9 p.m., 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. So look out for that. And um, again, check out my website, acepilot2k7.com. I will be posting in the mod list section all of the mods that I use for this video. So if you guys would like to download them, you can find it there. And uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, oh, yeah, let me know if you guys want to see some more of this. So again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.